in this video we want to show you that the joule thomson coefficient which is uh, defined as uh, the partial derivative of uh, temperature with respect to pressure at constant enthalpy h uh, and uh, that is shown to be equal to 1 over cp uh, within bracket t multiply uh, partial derivative of volume with respect to temperature at constant pressure minus V uh, that is uh, shown in many books of thermodynamics uh, is equal to 1 over Cp within bracket twice a divide by RT minus B for a gas which obeys Van der Waals equation so this part is not derived in in any book and uh, in the internet also I couldn't find the derivation of uh, this part so in this video I like to show you that uh, this is equal to this for a Van der Waal uh, gas now let us start from the Van der Waals equation uh, which is Van der Waals equation is given as P plus A divide V squared into V minus B equal to RT so I can rearrange and I, I can write as P equal to RT divide V minus B minus A divide V squared so we start from this and we take the derivative of this equation with respect to V keeping P constant differentiating with respect to V P constant so if I do that then I get this equation so after taking the derivative we get uh, uh, 0 equal to R divide V minus B into D T by DV minus R into T into V minus divide V minus B squared this I get obtain because uh, I have two functions uh, the first term contains two function one is temperature T and the other one is 1 over V minus B so I have taken uh, the derivative of uh, temperature first keeping V minus B as constant and then taken the derivative of V minus B keeping temperature constant so this way I obtain these two terms and uh, the uh, derivative of the second term would be uh, plus twice a divide by V cube because uh, derivative of V 1 over V square would be um, minus 2 V to the power minus 3 so minus and minus would uh, give plus and uh, this term would be uh, twice a divide by V cube so I rearrange uh, these terms and uh, I obtain R divide V minus B into dt by dv is equal to rt divide v minus b squared plus twice a sorry this would be minus minus twice a divide by v cube now I can write dv dt by dv 
uh, from this equation. So that would be RT my divide V minus B squared minus twice A divide by V cube and divide by R divide by V minus B. So I can write from this dv by dt equal to r divide by v minus b into rt divide by v minus b squared minus twice a divide v cube to the power minus 1. So I can write t into dv by dt minus v is equal to rt divide by v minus b and this I simplify as v minus b square into v cube in the denominator and here rt into v cube minus twice a into v minus b squared to the power minus 1 minus v so that simplified as rt divide v minus b into v minus b squared in the numerator into v cube divide by rt v cube minus twice a v minus b squared minus v so 1 v minus b will cancel off with 1 v minus b here and we can rewrite this as rt 1 divide by rt divide v minus b minus twice a v minus b divide v cube minus v. So this can be further simplified as RT divide RT divide V minus B I take common and I have here 1 minus twice A divide RT 
into v minus b square divide v cube minus v so this rt will cancel off with this one and v minus b will come in the numerator and this can be written as 1 minus twice a divide rt v minus b squared divide v cube to the power minus 1 minus v. So I expand the term in the bracket because second term in the bracket will be much much less than 1. So that will give me 1 plus twice a divide rt v minus b squared divide v cube minus v. So I open the bracket so it will give So after I open up the bracket, I get this and then minus V will cancel off with plus V and since V is a very small quantity, so V minus B cube is approximately equal to V cube. So these two terms can also be cancelled and therefore I remain with twice a divide rt minus b. So therefore the jt coefficient is equal to 1 over cp into twice a over rt minus b. Thank you for watching.